Despite its romantic title, Last Kiss goes much deeper than just a kiss. Last Kiss is about Jeanette Clark and Hancock, who were both 16 years old when their car hit a tractor trailer on a road in rural Barnesville, Georgia. They were on a date a few days before Christmas in 1962. A local gas station attendant helping with the recovery of the bodies did not recognize his own daughter. Hancock and Clark's friend Wayne Cooper, who was riding with them, was killed instantly. Their two other friends, Jewel Emerson and Ed Shockley, survived with serious injuries. Wayne Cochran's drummer had been dating Jeanette Clark's sister at the time of the wreck. The song was written by Wayne Cochran, who lived on Route 1941 in Georgia, which was about 15 miles away from the crash. It was a busy road, and Cochran saw lots of accidents on it. He was working on a song based on all the crashes he saw and was about halfway done with it when he heard about the wreck in Barnesville. There was an intense emotional response from the community after the tragedy, and Cochran used those feelings to finish the song, which he dedicated it to Jeanette Clark. The band Pearl Jam decided to record a version after singer Eddie Vedder found an old record of the song at an antique store in Seattle. They recorded the song at a sound check before a concert in 1998 and released it as a Christmas single for their fans. Radio stations started playing it and it gained popularity around the world. Pearl Jam decided to release it as a single to the public and gave the proceeds to a charity helping Kosovo refugees. <laughs>